Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Uh, in this video I'm going to implement pagination on Vue.js with Inertia. I made the video with React and I had a comment to create the same thing with uh, Vue.js. And I'm going to do that in this video. Now uh, I work for a company and the boss is not very happy for my videos, for my tutorials I made on YouTube. So we are going to see how this is going to go. But anyways, now let's start and implement the pagination on uh, Vue.js. I have prepared here a project. We have the same thing, a table from the Shatsi and view to display all the users. I have created 500 users and also I have created a user resource. And here we have the users. Now let's open the code, the VS code here. I am in the dashboard. Maybe let's zoom it uh, like this. And yeah, I created a interface for the user resource. We have ID, name and the email and then a type for the user, which has a data, user resource array. Then we have a meta with links to be any, but we can create also that uh, links, but because the links I need to have also on the pagination. I'm going to create a type for that links in the types index here and let's create a type. So I'm going to say export type uh, pagination link type, which is going to be url label and active yeah url is going to be either string or null okay we export that and now let's import that in here and use it so pagination link and let's close this let's see if we have imported no so let's import it right here but just we need to import the type like this okay and then on, we have a current page from last page and so on. This is only for the TypeScript. If you don't like, you can just say any. But uh, yeah. And here we need to define props because we have passed props on the web routes. If I open the web routes. Now, if you have seen my uh, video on React, it's the same. Just say users, user resource collection, user latest paginate 10. And uh, yeah, I made a V4 here, table cell and display user, the username and the email. Now after the table, I'm going to add the div and in this div, I'm going to add the pagination. Okay, so for that, let's create a component inside the components. I'm going to create uh, in the pagination directory, let's create a pagination directory. And here I'm going to create a pagination example component. Okay. And let's say we set up here. Okay. And yeah, I want to have a link ds. Good. I want to define props because I'm going to pass uh, from the dashboard the links here so let's say define okay i don't know why we yeah here we have auto completion so we have not pagination but we're gonna need links and not any this is going to be a pagination pagination link array and we need to import the type so import pagination link but just import type. Okay, I'm going to add a div here and in this div now, instead of passing the URL, I'm going to add a template and here I'm going to say v4 links. In links, yeah, let's remove this. So v4 link in links, passing the key link label and then we can add a span, the same thing I have done also on React. And in this span, I'm going to check with other template because we work with a template on Vue.js and say here v if link URL 
and uh, so we have a template here saying v if link url is triple label with null just say span vstml link label i'm going to change that v else something like this but i'm going to check if the link url is triple label with a null and also i'm going to say and the link dot label a dot includes if that includes not three dots but if that includes the previous in that case just display a span with vhtml then instead of v else we can say v else if the link url uh, it triple label with null and the link label includes next something like this okay let's uh, close this one because we have a template down there also let's say v if link url triple label with includes previews also we need to check for the if the link url is not null so let's say template and instead of link active we are to say if the link url is not null and link label dot includes the previous in that case instead of displaying the label we're going to display a link from the inertia okay link with a shref and uh, not vstml but we'll just say shref with some classes we add our classes here and display the link label and then let's close the link okay let's just indent this and the same thing we can do for the next so copy and paste it right here v else if the link url is not null and the link label includes next in that case we're going to say link url and say next here else just display a link also here with class and close that link okay i think here we have all the checks v if the link url null and label includes previous we just say span if that is not null and includes previous we display the link the same thing for the next and yeah let's see now let's close this let's pass the pagination example i think we, are, we have pagination example passing the links so links is going to be users meta links and we need to import the pagination example yeah so let's go up here import the pagination example from components uh, pagination slash example and let's open the browser and see and we have error for the console link label in yeah i made the typo on the pagination example so let's open that link label includes includes and also here includes yeah let's see come here in the refresh includes includes and also here includes and files to resolve the component link we need to import the link from the inertia so let's say import the link from inertia js slash view and yeah we have something like this okay so we can click on the two three four and one yeah now we are on the one and as you can see here we have a span but if i click on two we have this previous which is a link okay now let's work with the design okay we need just to pass some classes and i'm going to copy from the react project and paste it right here so let me just from here we need first on this div 
start a class with flex item center just if i center space x1 and then on the panel so we have the passes on classes okay let's see a week yeah we have on the center now and let's uh, add some classes here and also remove this because i would add the icon so i'm going to paste here the classes and now instead of span v html link label i'm going to add an icon which uh, we have the arrow arrow left and here we can say previous okay now we need to import this arrow left icon from the import the arrow left from the inclusive view next like this we say preview also on the link we can do the same add that icon now we need to add classes here so let's i'm going to say some classes here let's just do that link so as pass an array and if the link is active i'm going to add border blue and on dark border blue uh 400 in in other cases we have the defaults okay then we have also the arrow left also here we need to pass some classes because if i open right now the project here yeah, we have something like this which looks okay but let's change that so the same thing we have also on the react with for h4 include inline block and margin right for two now let's do the same thing on the next let's remove this span okay so let's copy the classes we have on the previous and apply also on the next so where we have the next here we can do the same thing paste that and also here we can uh, add the icon and the icon is going to be arrow not left but uh, we need here arrow right okay let's import up here also the icon arrow right and label arrow right not label we need just to say next good also on the span we can do the same thing we have here and paste it and also add the arrow right and remove this because we don't need then we have the v else which also on the v else let me just copy the link here and paste it and yeah display the link label here i think we are now done so let's open the browser just the previous where is the previous previous with a link instead of link label we can say a previous okay like this and now we have previous here if i click here this is not longer a link i can click and uh, if i go to network yeah click nothing if i go to two and now yeah it's going to work also here we can do the same thing on the link we can add preserve scroll so preserve let's clear this and let's come here let's go to two okay one two three and we stay here for previous next go to 10 and we have now three dots here and also three dots here if i got a 50 yeah the next now is if i click no, nothing change okay if i go to console why we have what is this let's refresh yeah prop type check shref expected string with a value null yeah 
on the label here we say href link url but the url may be null so we can say a hashtag or just a, an empty string we need to say like this okay now refresh yeah we don't have any error if i scroll down go to one two three previous and also if i just inspect here we have a div which is the whole uh, div here and then we have a span which is the first one and a link then we have another span another span now if you like this okay but if you don't like you can remove the span all right here when you say v4 and remove it and now we don't have a spawn we have directly the link so the anchor tag anchor tag anchor tag here or you can add if you prefer all times you can add here a div then a ul and then here an li okay and after that close the li here and close the ul okay just now instead of passing here the classes i'm going to cut that and put it on the ul and we can remove the div entirely now this is just if you want to see something like this and we have the same thing also here we don't have any error but uh, if i inspect elements yeah we have the url which has all the allies with an anchor tag inside it okay friends that's it all about this video what i wanted to show you now if you like such a videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much